Uh, I think it's interesting because I'm a theater person and um, it's interesting to, to think about how immersion or identification with the story, with some facts that you want to tell um, in relation to, to the museum, how that could work uh, compared to the theater work that we are doing. I think in, 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 in museums what I'm, I'm turned off by is, is to stand in, in front of walls and read text and, and, and uh, look at images and um, I'm constantly trying to find out ways to bring people, visitors um, or an audience into a situation where it's more about the experience and learning about um, going through, through an experience rather than um, just receiving things. The beauty parlor I, I did in a project in Berlin for the for the state museums um, was a prototype to include an audience into a, a so-called immersive installation, and um, the the idea was to create a situation which is very familiar, like to, a visit to a, a beautician or to a hairdresser, and um, within this uh, situation, um, hearing an expertise of a real professional who knows um, how to make people beautiful. So that was the, the, the idea behind that project. I think the best thing was the, the communication with the, the protagonist. I, I was very eager to have um, a real professional um, telling us her story and her, um, her practice in, in Kenya, in Mombasa, in, in her culture, in the Swahili culture, and um, communicating with her and bringing her over to Berlin and creating her space, her working space. Um, uh, in which we, we, we shot our, our movie that is being displayed in the mirror of that beauty salon. The work, the collaboration with her was really rewarding. And I think that's something that is really being transported in that um, installation. I mean, objects are kind of tricky because in, in one way they're great, they're very symbolic, they're very loaded, but um, as, as long as you don't really transport it, what it's about, as a, if you don't really transport the context and where it comes from, um, how it's been made, how it's been used, um, it kind of um, it's very easy to lose the aura of, a, of an object. And um, I think that's um, that's the great thing about all those collections that are mainly all over over, over Europe. Um, that there's a lot of potential that has you you can actually bring to life. But I think that the, the means how to, um, to present them is, I think, really reducing also the, the number of objects and, and telling this rather the story of one specific object that takes an hour to receive than telling the, the story of 100 objects that you just pass by and, and looking at. Yeah. Uh, the protagonist for me is, is um, in, in the work of Rimini Protocol, the group I'm working with um, frequently, they use the term experts um, rather than protagonists. Protagonist is a bit more open because it, it also can be a, um, uh, an actor representing a character. But um, I think it's um, all the stories that we have to tell as humans, um, they are being executed by um, and, and told by, by people. And it's, it's, for me, it's always interesting to ask people um, about, for example, objects in a museum. It's, it's, um, they have so much to tell and it makes so much sense if you ask them what they're talking about so that um, they play the main role.